Bravo. This is going to be crazy. Yeah, we got Colton Trace, um, Colton Cooper, Cooper Citro, Girls Division One Lacrosse Final, other people, other people, etc. Oh, this is a Division 4? Oh, do we have a Division 4 now? I so, maybe in softball. Interesting. I know in like other sports, for sure, they definitely have. Yeah. Finishing in 8th place at 46 points. Yeah. 9, 7 seconds, Westerville South Junior, Alexis Roberts. What was that first lap? Fifth, 44 yeah, I think like five, maybe. Okay. Fourth, Bob. In third. There's a guy in like eight. He's moving. Oh my gosh, he's moving. Do you see that guy? Yeah. Headband? Yeah. Dude, headband. Headband's moving. I, he's gonna be in our comment section like, hey, I'm headband. <laughs> headband guy. Okay, he's not gonna catch him. He looked good for a second though. Man, who got it? I think he passed him at the end there. He just started a little too late. And atop the platform is a young lady who has owned this event for the last three years. This was her third consecutive win in the girls' 300-meter hurdles. This year, she does it with a 42.02 time. She's won it three years in a row. Three state championships in the girls' 300-meter hurdles. Two state championships in the girls' 